Hey, it's Chris here, and in today's video, we're playing some more Minecraft on the Realm. I decided I finally wanted to build a chicken coop, and some minor misadventures occurred, and it may not look like a chicken coop at all, but uh, we built a chicken coop in today's episode, so let's get right into it. I started out by building a perimeter. I don't really know what I was thinking building a diorite perimeter for a chicken coop, but, you know, I was thinking something, and it, and it started to be created. Um, I wanted to make use of this weird square thing I had designed, for little explainable reason. But, yeah, so I just started to build this perimeter around the chicken coop. So with the perimeter done, I decided what I wanted to do next was, I wanted to build a little observation area, and then a three-down chicken, like, hole kind of thing. Just so that way, like... I, <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what the idea was, but I felt like it would look cool and kind of look like a, you know, chicken observation area. And, uh, I think it came out pretty good, but it was just a little bit of an uphill battle because these chickens, you know, they like to, to make your life complicated, like fucking chickens. But, um, yeah, so I just started to dig down a little bit to make a big old hole for the chickens to roam around in. So the next step was building the walls of this structure. I decided to go with utilizing the new black uh, deep stone, I think it is, deep slate, because I've never used it in a build because it's new with the new update. And I was like, you know, I might as well give this a shot. I mean, granted, because I really didn't know what the hell I was working with, it doesn't look probably as good as it can be. But I think it all in all came out looking pretty, you know, nice. Um, the biggest complaint I've got about it is that it doesn't look like a f***ing chicken coop, and that's because it, you know, realistically isn't one, it's a chicken hole. Get it right, guys, come on, there's a difference. This is a chicken hole, much more epic, um, than, than a lousy chicken coop. Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to build this thing kind of as a more industrial-type building, because I wanted to make use of the, of the new box, so... Granted, it wasn't really fitting the vibe of a chicken coop, but it doesn't need to fit the vibe of a chicken coop if it's cool looking, you know? Um, but yeah, we were, and then meanwhile, people were making use of the new chicken coop by, you know, it's kind of hard to use because you had to jump down into the hole and then place a, a dirt block. This is something I would fix later with a kind of concept of hidden stairs. Well, I was thinking about fixing later, um, but for, for the moment, I just wanted to kind of finish its exterior because I don't really like half-built buildings. I think that's kind of dumb. And I think half-built buildings are kind of the biggest bane of the realm. So after I had finished all this, we saw I saw a quite hilarious scene in front of me of a skeleton just kind of vibing on the top of a roof, shooting down at an iron golem. Um, that was kind of fucking hilarious until Bubba <laughs> made me realize that if the skeleton keeps shooting the iron golem it will die so then I shot it down so the iron golem could finish it um and then we kind of just had to do more mob clearing I mean we've been trying to deal with the mobs with both the wall and the in shit load of torches but neither of them have really resulted in anything useful to me or anyone um but yeah I just figured this was pretty funny so I might as well include it I finally got to work on the roof though after that. I wanted to kind of align it with uh, diorite and then kind of finish it with, you know, more of the newer blocks. So I made use of the new um, deep slate, you know, brick uh, fences. Because I kind of felt like, you know, might as well make the most out of these new blocks, see what I can build out of them. Um, I accidentally fell into the chicken hole for a second. <laughs> But a few seconds later after I fell in, a giant hole had been caused by a creeper. I'm not entirely sure when this creeper went off, but it killed all my chickens with it. So instead of having a chicken farm, we now just had a big old pretty looking hole. Uh, it was a little bit disheartening, but I didn't really have times to, you know, repair and get all the chickens back in there at the moment. I just kind of had to finish the building. So I patched up the hole and uh, immediately got to work on trying to finish what was left of the building. I mean, I left the parts of the hole that I didn't have the building materials to patch up at the moment, and I went back later on and fixed it then. But then I got to work on finishing up the roof. I wanted to finish the diorite frame and kind of get an idea on what I wanted to do with roofing. And uh, in the end, I decided to go with a 
diorite roof again. At first, I was thinking if I wanted to do a radial structure, kind of like the, you know, branching out from the little outlook uh, pillar that I already built, and that's what I built at first, and uh, eventually I decided not to go with that and just go with the standard roof. So, yeah. Time for some mobile Minecraft. Alright, so it's been about a week since I built the chicken coop. I haven't really played a ton since then, but a, some minor renovations have been done by uh, myself, just kind of like on off play sessions while I'm just kind of bored. So the first thing is, as you can see, we've repaired the holes in the wall, and I built a nice little road leading up to it. Somebody, not myself, made a nice cute little uh, sign for it, and a cool little chest to put all of the stuff. As you notice, there is now a lot of chickens as opposed to zero. This is because I'm assuming someone has been breeding them, which I appreciate a lot. The next thing is this berry farm. Originally, there was just an overlook, but the overlook got destroyed by someone, so I decided to build a berry farm on top here, so that way it just kind of has even more of a purpose, and I love berries, so, you know, all the power to berries. Um, and it, I kind of just feel like this is now a building that I'm quite happy with the results in. I mean, the berry farm works a little whack, I admit, but I feel like because of the amount of eggs down here and just how it doesn't even look that bad in my eyes, I think it came out to be an alright build. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, until next time, this has been Christopher Beast. See you all next time.